Alrighty guys, welcome back to Tool Time, where we do nothing but tool reviews, tool hauls, demoing tools, exposing the good, the bad, and the okay tools. Right now, I'm going to do a video over my top 10 most used, favorite pliers that I use more than others, and we'll get into that right after... <laughs> Alrighty guys, so right here are my top 10 pliers that I use the most, they're my favorite, whatever you want to call it. These are the 10 pliers that are my go-to, I use them throughout the week more than any other pliers and let's be honest, I probably have close to 50 pairs of pliers. Probably more if I counted them all, but I'm not going to count them all because I've got four toolboxes and a bunch of service trucks that have pliers on all of them. I'm not going to count all my pliers. But... Let's go ahead and jump into this. Starting out, the PWZs, I've got these three sizes. I've got the PWZ0, PWZ1, and the PWZ2. And I want to get the PWZ3. It's the bigger one than the two. And I haven't had that one yet, but I'm going to order that one. These things, as everybody knows, I would imagine everybody should know. This here just unscrews. You just unscrew it all the way and it's basically a adjustable pipe wrench. And they are great. These are great. Yes, you can get the what is it, the Banco or Bako ones, the same people that make them for snap on. But the only difference is Snap-on has this rubber, plastic, whatever you want to call this handle. And the Bako or Banco ones are painted. They're not a plastic rubber type handle as the Snap-on PWZs. That would be the difference between those. Jumping from those, I'm going to have to go to the Knipex, Knipex, whatever you want to call them. Everybody calls them a different name. This is the Knipex 8603-180. And these ones, you just push your button here and you move it. And as you push down, it applies more leverage. These things are great. I've got these on my personal truck too. And they're great. I've got all kinds of Nipex pliers. They're hose clamp pliers. I didn't, couldn't find them. But the hose clamp pliers that have the little nipple sticking up off of here, those are amazing. They work great. You crimp them down on the hose clamp and it locks in place so you can slide your hose clamp back or up or whatever you need to do and you don't have to worry about holding pressure down on it, it locks in place they're great i'll have to get a part number for that i'll leave that down in the description or the comments but everybody has nipex by now i would imagine they're some of the best pliers you can get made in germany they're great tools the snap-on truck has them they're a lot more expensive on the snap-on truck but you can also find them on Amazon, eBay, all over the internet. A lot of stores carry them nowadays, I know that. Like Menards carries them. Royal King has like just a couple pairs. They don't have very many. But my local Menards has a wide variety. The only ones they do not have is the hose clamp pliers. But going from these, I'm going to have to go into the Snap-on Flush Cuts. The 786CF, these are for plastic and soft wire only. They come with that little sheath, plastic cover, whatever you want to call it. This is the newer style of them. The older style I had got dull, and I traded them in, and these were the updated version. But like I said, they're for plastic and soft wire only. Yes, they're the snap-on ones. These are sharp as all get out. They're great for cutting wires. And as everybody has heard, the snap-on handles are my favorite. I call them the memory foam handles. Nobody else's handles are like these. If you know of a plier company that has pliers that have the handles the same as snap-on, please put that down in the comment. I don't know if this is a patented thing of snap-ons or if they're the only ones that make this style of handle with this rubber foam type handle, but they're amazing. Wish I could find someone else that had the same handle. That would be great. Because I love pliers. 
Going from those, we're going to have to go to these little guys here, which are the P87150CT. And these have like a, it's a red, hard plastic nylon type thing. So basically, let me get this piece of wire I've got on it off and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I keep that piece of wire on them to keep them closed because they are spring loaded. So they fly open every once in a while. But this plastic here is basically when you're cutting zip ties and stuff, it'll hold it there so it doesn't shoot it out or whatever. Is what I was told by my Snap-on guy. And I don't know, I use them to cut a lot of zip ties and stuff with. They're great. I don't have to chase zip ties across the floor picking them up and stuff like that. Or if you're inside of a vehicle or something, cutting a bunch of stuff, cutting a wiring harness down from out under the dash, you don't have to pick all the wire ties up. They're right there. When you release, it's still kind of stuck to that, and you just pull it, throw it out in the trash. These are great. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but the Snap-on number is P8750CT. They're made in Spain. These pliers are. Going from that, we're going to go to the strippers here. The PWCS7ACF. And this has, uh, come on, focus. The stripper for 20, 18, 16, 14, and 12. And then it has your bare and insulated crimper down here on the bottom, or up at the top there. And it also has the little grooved part there. So if you need to grab a wire and pull on it, there you go. These are great. Carlisle has the same exact, they're literally the same exact pliers, just different grip. I have the Carlisle ones on my service truck. These are in my shop box, and I use these all the time, and I use the Carlisle ones all the time. They're both literally the same. These are made in USA. Going from that, we're going to go into the big Snap-on dikes, side cuts, whatever you want to call them. These are the 87ACF. Everybody, I've heard a lot of people complain about they go dull really quick. I've had this pair going on roughly two, two and a half years, and it's still the same pair. I haven't had to trade them in to get them, get a new pair because they're dull. And I cut a lot of metal wire with them, fencing wire, you name it. I try to cut it with these things because they're sharp, and they're still as sharp as they were when I first got them. They're doing great. That's the only thing that sucks about the green handles. They get so dirty and I'm, I have to clean them all the time. Going from those, we'll jump into the slip joint pliers here. These have to be some of my favorite slip joint pliers. This is hard with one hand, but they open up a decent size. I've got this pair, one pair bigger than this, and one pair smaller than this. And then I have got a little mini set of these. But the 4.9... ACF is the part number on these, made in US, they're great, I would imagine if you've got snap-on pliers you've probably got this set, pretty self-explanatory, they have the same grip as everything else, I definitely want to know if someone else makes this grip, I'm very curious about that, I would love to know that, these little guys here are fantastic, get this off of here. These things right here, when they bite onto something, if you got to pull it out or whatever you're doing, they bite like crazy. And I haven't wore the tongues out on them yet. I had another pair, but they were just some off-brand cheap ones. And the grooved part kept wearing flat. These have not wore flat yet. But the part number on these are... P91045. These ones are made in Spain too. Are all of Snap One little mini pliers made in Spain? I've never noticed this until I just looked at this one and then that other mini pliers. Please leave that down in the comments if you know or if all of Snap One's little pliers are made in Spain. I didn't never notice that until just now. But irregardless if they are, these are fantastic. You can get this and you can get the where's that other one? Set. Oh, I didn't bring the other mini set, but they have a set just like this, but without this plastic in here. That's You can get it in red or green and I think orange. 
but it comes with the side cuts, this, and a longer nose pair of these. And a three-piece set with like a little pouch. They've got that. And then going from that is this Vice Grip brand of the double jointed needle nose. You barely have to, literally these things are open this much. You barely have to open them to get them opened up real far. Like that's all the way opened. And they're still, you can still get your hand on it. That's pretty, they're great. You know, a regular pair of needle noses don't open that far to begin with. And then when they're all the way open, the handle's opened way farther than this. And it's hard to get with just one hand to squeeze it, but these you're good. The part number on this Irwin set is... Ta-da, 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 there it is. 192001251Q. Pretty sure that's going to be your part number. Not sure where the Irwins are made. There's no stamp on here saying where they're made. Does anybody know where Iron pliers are made at? If so, leave that down in the comments. And then last but not least, these are cheap Chinese made pistol gripped. They're crimpers and they've got the groove part here on the end. And they've also got a cutter right there. These are great. I love pistol grip pliers. These are made by Titan. The part number is 11400. These came from AutoZone. Because I lost my other pair and I needed them on the road one day. And AutoZone was the closest part store. And I went in there to get a pair of cutters and crimpers and seen these. And I grabbed them and they've been great ever since. And they're great pistol grip. Anybody that uses pistol grip pliers knows you can put a lot of leverage on them. But with that being said... The giveaway video is going to be up tonight for sure. I know I said that the last time, but I had some problem when I uploaded it the last time. I got copyrighted because I used a certain website and there was something in the background of the website because there was no music at all in the whole video except in the beginning, my same intro. But the copy striked it, copyright striked it for something that was in the background of this website or my computer and they told me how to take it down or re-put it up. So... I am in the middle of putting it back up. I had to run it through another site. But that will be up tonight. Thank you guys for being patient. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please leave in the comments if you know if any other company has the same grip as Snap-on on their pliers. And leave down below if you know where Irwin, Vice Grip, the pliers, and the needle noses are made. Let me know what your top 10 pliers are that you use on a daily basis or weekly, monthly, whatever. Or just whatever your favorite pliers are that you like to use. And if you have some different brands that you want me to try out or you think I'll like, leave those down below. My hand's messed up. It's all swollen. Smashed with a sledgehammer earlier, so it's kind of a little hard to video with one hand and whatever. That's besides the point. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here for the day. I'm tired. I've been here since 4. I got to go home and get some sleep. I'll catch you in the next one. Tool time out.